By default, KDE Plasma comes with a fairly straightforward, simple layout, very familiar layout, particularly for, let's say, Windows users, where you have the menu icon down at the left, and then a system tray and clock and things like that down on the right. And then when you have open windows, you have those windows showing up in a taskbar at the bottom. All of the windows have their own menus. So if there's an application menu to be had, it's gonna show up on the top of the, of the window. So this is a you know very familiar, straightforward, maybe some would say boring view. Now this is, again, I think catering maybe more towards the Windows users. And if let's say you like something like more of a Mac OS view, a Mac OS layout, uh, I'm not sure people really know how flexible KDE is, the Plasma desktop is in terms of layouts and things like that. So I just thought I'd take a few minutes to show you how you could adapt this layout uh, to those other desktop paradigms as well. So if we were, let's look at Mac OS. Um, what you'd want to do, the easiest thing to do is install Latte Doc. So it is the doc that is built specifically for the Plasma desktop. And so it, it integrates perfectly with Plasma and it will um, serve as the dock and launcher as you would have in something like Mac OS. So let's go ahead and the first step here is I will move this bottom bar to the top. I'll just grab that screen edge button there, move it up to the top. And I'm just going to leave it like this for the moment and go ahead and get the, the dock running here. So latte dock. And you'll see when it launches here, it just pops up. And this is a very familiar uh, looking dock. Uh, I don't really love some of the defaults here. I think the zoom is a little too big. It's a little cartoonish and silly. And the uh, icon size itself, I don't love. I also prefer a transparent background. So let me just go through setting some of those things. So under right clicking, go to dock panel settings, and you see that you get this sort of graph paper effect background here, which is showing you the dock panel itself. And then you can change the location, the alignment, things like that, and um, where it's being displayed the delay in, in hiding all of those sort of things. So there's a ton of options in here. I'm not gonna go through every single option, but just the ones to sort of make it look the way that I would normally use it. Um, but I think as you see me go along here, you might spot other things that you'd wanna look at. The other th thing here is there's an advanced option and I'll get to that in just a second, but that uncovers or opens up a lot of other uh, additional options that you can change. So if I go to appearance, Again, I don't love this background here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. And you see now that the background is, is not there, that bar that had been there. Um, if you prefer a background and you want it to be behind the whole thing, you can do that. So for me, I, I just don't really care for it. I'd rather just have it be uh, transparent. You can change whether the, app, the active application shows a dot or a line. Uh, you can reverse it so that the dot or the line is at the top instead of the bottom. There's a ton of configurability in here. Um, the other thing I don't love is that the size itself, I think is a little too big for my taste. So I'm going to go down to 48 on those. And then I'm also going to change that zoom down to about, uh, 50%, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and just test that out. Yeah. So I do like, I mean, I know that's a little gimmicky, but I, for me, I have some visual issues and I, I like that it kind of shows me what I'm, where my mouse is. Um, and you can obviously just turn that off if that bugs you. I know by default, I think Mac OS now doesn't actually have that zoom effect, but uh, I, I like it. It's there. You can play with it and get it to be the way you like it. Now, what's cool about this dock, besides just being able to add application shortcuts here. So if I were to go to the menu and let's say open FileZilla and then right click and pin that just means that now if i close this that icon is now there and if i want to open it again i can just launch it that way 
What's really cool about this is in addition to having that ability to pin applications and keep the icon there, you can also add widgets. So any of the Plasma widgets that are available, and you see this is the analog clock widget, which is just in there as a clock right now. So any of these widgets that are in here, and also widgets that you can download from, um, from online, you can get new widgets here, uh, download you know new widgets from online. So you can have any of those be part of your dock, which is great because a lot of docks, they'll have maybe, so if you think of like Docky or Plank, like Plank, Plank has a couple inbuilt widgets, but otherwise you really can't extend um, what's there besides just adding shortcuts or, or launchers. In this case, if you use Plasma and you like specific widgets, then, you know, if you want to show desktop widget in there, then you would literally just drag it in there. And now you have a show desktop widget that you can use to toggle the icons in the desktop. You know, uh, trash can, uh, all of those widgets are available. So it's very extensible in that sense where you can customize it and add it, add things to it to make it really, you know, all of your features basically down here. So then that leaves us with, okay, Mac OS has a uh, global menu up here. Well, Plasma has that capability as well. So let me go ahead and open this back up and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the tray or the task manager here because I don't need it anymore. So what I'll go ahead and do now is add in, oops, is add in the global menu. So if I search for global, there's global menu and I want to stick it right in there. And then I also want to change this spacing here. Have the tray and the show desktop, basically how it was before. So you see it says global menu now. So that basically cleans us up to where we have our menu up here and our system tray, our clock, and you can arrange that however you want. But now if I open a, an application, that has menus, let me go back and open another, open it again. You see now that just like with Mac OS, you have your global menus at the top. So let me go ahead and, and it, and it, because I just added it, I needed to restart the applications in order for those menus to show up. But now as I shift between applications, you see, I now have my global menu at the top in the bar. So this is more or less Mac OS layout from what I can remember. I haven't used it in probably two years, but, um, you know, the paradigm of, I have my launcher dock at the bottom or, you know, the other thing is if you prefer the layout to be, uh, on the left, you can just, you know, move this guy over to the left there. And, you know, maybe that's, that was your, I know when I was using Mac OS on a regular basis, I actually had it on the left. And then I would also have it be where it would auto hide. So the visibility, instead of uh, dodging windows, I would say auto hide. And then it was just there whenever I put my mouse over and it would disappear when my mouse went away. So there you go. Really cool. Very easy. You saw it took me, what, three minutes to do that. Um, and again, I'm just, the point of this video is to just show the flexibility of KDE Plasma and how easy it is to um, to change layouts, add widgets, move things around. Everything is, is basically a, a widget. So this was an intentionally short video. I didn't go through a lot of the configurability and different options. Uh, I showed the Latte Dock as a, an additional component. You can also build dock-like functionality just with Plasma itself by adding a new panel and adding shortcuts and launchers and things like that. I think the Latte Dock is a, is a much... Uh, more feature rich and uh, functional way to have a dock on Plasma. But suffice to say, you can just use the Plasma tools themselves. Panels, you can set, you know, different widths. You can have, it, it's really very customizable, very flexible. And that's really all I wanted to show was um, just in a, in a couple minutes, I could change some of the fundamental aspects of what some might say, again, or, or more of like the Windows paradigm of uh, the desktop experience to, you know, again, very quickly uh, something else entirely. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it informative, useful, all those good things. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, please uh, leave it below. 
happy to answer questions, happy to help out where I can. And uh, I will see you in the next video.